Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to download images from the Open Images dataset, and then how to use those images to construct our custom YOLO v7 model. For this, we will open the home page and we'll type Open Images dataset in Google. Then we'll click on the first link to go to the home page. Here we will click on Explore. So this is the home page of the Open Images dataset. Once we go to the Explore page, we will click on this categorical type. We can see different options for detection, segmentation, relationships, and others. But right now we will need detection. So we will click on Detection. Next, we can see a bar box called Class. If we click on that, we'll be able to see the different types of datasets. So we will search the human eye. As we can see, the human eye is detected in every picture. We can also observe that the other features like man, human face, girl, and also boy have been detected. To see only the defined class, we will go to options, and we'll uncheck the box that says display boxes from all categories. Now we will only be able to see detections not other than the human eye, as it looks cleaner this way. So we will be using data, downloaded from this data set to construct our model, which is detecting PPE, abbreviated as personal protection equipment. For the data set, we will restrict the detection to goggles, safety helmets, jackets, gloves, and boots. We will see in open images if these are available. First, we will search goggles in the search box. As we can see the goggles data set right here. And can see in this goggles data set that it detects all kinds of it. So we can use this data set to detect it. Next, we will search for helmets by typing helmet in the search bar. We can see in this helmet data set, it detects all kinds of helmets, and also safety helmets. For the next thing, we will be looking at the jacket data set, we will type jacket in the search bar. In the results, we can see it's detecting all kinds of jackets, along with the safety jackets, the kind of data the dataset is detecting will be useful for us, so we will download this. And the next thing will be gloves. As we can see, there is a glove data set that detects all types of gloves. We have safety gloves and other kinds of gloves, we can use this dataset for PPE detection. The last category will be boots. So we will type boots, As we can see, it detects all kinds of boots, and it will also notice safety boots. And this is the data available on OID, so we will download it from there for our project. So let's open PyCharm and create a new project with the name PPE dataset. Create a new environment with Conda in the Python interpreter setting. After selecting Conda, click on Create. When it loads all the dependencies we will open the terminal in the PyCharm. As you can see, this is the name of the environment right here. So we will be cloning the OID v4 toolkit into our virtual environment. So we will open Google. And we'll type OID v4 GitHub. To access the GitHub page, click the first link. As we can see, all the files are present on this page. All we have to do is visit this code, copy the URL, and then return to PyCharm. Now we will ensure that Git is set up. Type Git, and then run it. If we see something similar to this, it indicates that Git is already set up. Otherwise, execute the command pip install git to set up Git in your environment. As we have already set up the Git, we'll clone the OID v4 toolkit repository. Type Git clone and then paste the copied link here to clone the repository. We'll wait for a while for it to be git cloned. We can now see that the git repository is being cloned. And we can see, the OID v4 toolkit is included. When we open it, there are several folders and files. 
Two directories, images, and modules, each containing several files are also visible. To download pictures from the OID database, we will make use of this toolkit. Additionally, we will install the prerequisites in a virtual environment before beginning the download. We'll open requirements.txt. Here, we can see several Python libraries. Now, the directory needs to be changed to oidv4 to install the requirements. So we will type cd, oidv4 toolkit, and press enter. After changing to the oidv4 directory, type pip, install, hyphen r, requirements.txt. Execute and wait for the libraries to get installed. There are a lot of libraries that need to be installed. It will take some time. As we can see, all of the packages have been set up. We will now test the OID toolkit. The first option is to run python3 main.py from your preferred terminal, if you simply want a quick reminder of all the options the script provides. Here you can see the options. Now, we can now proceed to download all of the necessary photos. To do this, we will type the command python3 main.py space, downloader, space, hyphen hyphen classes. The names of the classes we need to download will be provided after the classes argument. As we are downloading images to make a personal protection equipment dataset, that's why we type the names. Goggles, space, jacket, space, helmet, space, glove, and boot. Next give space and type hyphen hyphen type underscore CSV. The type of data that needs to be downloaded will now be determined. It can be trained data, validation, or test data. You can also modify it to all if you want all the sets. For demonstration purposes, we typed validation. The next argument is multi-classes. As we can see in the help, multi-classes have a default value of either 0 or 1. We'll set it to 1. Because if we set the value to 0, all photos will either be downloaded in separate classes or separately for each class. Next, we'll set the limit to 30. Here the limit is nothing but the number of images to download from each class. Set the limit value based on how much is required for your project. However, we set the limit argument to 30, because I've already downloaded my dataset, and downloading takes time. So we set the limit to 30 to save time and make things simple. Once we have specified all of the arguments, we will execute it. If questions of this kind arise, answer yes when you have to download missing CSV files. And we can now see that the data is downloading. All we have to do now is wait. As we can see, all the data has been downloaded. The boot, glove, helmet, jacket, and goggles. Now we'll look at the data in the dataset directory. So we have downloaded the validation data, and in the validation folder, all of the data has been downloaded in the directory named goggles, jacket, helmet, glove, boot. Now that we have the data, we will upload all our data to RoboFlow for further processing. So to upload the files, first, we will open Google and we'll type RoboFlow. When the result appears, we will click on this first link. If you do not have an account in RoboFlow, create one first. As we have already created an account in RoboFlow, we will click on Sign In. After the sign in, the dashboard will get appear, and as we can see in the dashboard we can create a new project. So we will click on Create New Project. If you are new to RoboFlow, I'll recommend you take the guided tour. We will click on Explore Solo. When this Create Project form appears, we will enter the info inside it. In the project type, we will select Object Detection. Here, we will pass the names of the labels, and in the project name, we will type PPE. Then we will click on Create a Public Project. Now we can upload our data files here. So we will click on Select Folder, and we'll upload our data. Now you are seeing that all our images have been processed. So that's all for today's video.
In the next video, we will learn how to annotate these images using RoboFlow. Thank you for sticking with me until the end. We'll see you in the next video.